Hello and welcome to my tech farm. It's time for product design video on not mine but my oldest daughters. <laughs> These are rooms of my teenage daughters only I'm not allowed to go inside so this is the closest I can get. So anyway the story began when uh, approximately a year ago she asked me if I can uh, 3D print something for her and I said yes why not just send me the STL file and I'll do it. So it was this object a fox skull and uh, I print it, I give it to her, she paint it and I forget about it. At that time I thought uh, that uh, she downloaded it from somewhere but recently, a few weeks ago, we were in discussion again about this uh, object and uh, then I find out that actually this was her design. To be honest, I was a little bit skeptic. Uh, I mean, she went to art school a few years but she is good with the painting, drawing, uh, sculpting with, with her hands. Uh, but this is quite different. So I told her if she can design this again and record this design process, I will create a video about this and uh, all the money I will earn from this video I will give it to her. And she was very happy because she's collecting uh, money for her new graphic drawing board. But what she doesn't know that uh, I'm earning ap approximately five to ten dollars per each video approximately. Uh, but anyway, if I will get any donations about uh, this video, uh, I will multiply it by, let's say, five and I will give it to her. Okay, only please don't challenge me too much, so my budget is quite limited. So uh, anyway, the main part of this uh, video will be the designing in Sculptris. Uh, it took her approximately 30 minutes, so I have to speed up this part. Maybe I will speed up, I will see, four or eight times but uh, you can always slow down the playback in uh, YouTube. Uh, if that's not enough, uh, I will upload some of the raw video and uh, I will place a link in the description so you can see it in uh, regular speed. Okay, uh, let's see the design. As I mentioned, I'm starting with 8x and then 4x speed up video. And I know that a lot of you don't like the music in the background, uh, if you want to skip this part, you can jump to ninth minute in this video. And now the music chosen by the artist.
This is previewing a Prussia slicer and I rotated this subject uh, 30 degrees because in this position uh, more surfaces can be printed with overhang or bridging but of course I will need some supports on this subject supports on build plate only only I don't need here supports so uh, here I will use the paint on supports this is new option in Prussia slicer 2.3 with the right mouse button, I am blocking the supports on these red surfaces. Because I want to use supports only here. Here it's not necessary because it will be covered almost with the bridging. And I noticed one critical point around the eyes here. Let me zoom in. This is that point. So it started very small connection and uh, it is something what is actually in the air and this is uh, it I will analyze this in mesh mixer and, and this is the surface uh, I wasn't sure what is it and then I checked this uh, analysis plane cut and now it's a little bit better visible so this surface goes here and this surface goes in this uh, direction so actually I can see here the background of the of this surface and also uh, here too on the other side uh, my daughter told me that she didn't know how to create a hole if somebody know how please write me in the comments so back to the Prussia slicer I printed uh, as it is now uh, but I was monitoring what will happen here and uh, I was lucky that the, the printing not failed the version which I will upload to my website I will add here small supports here and here which you can cut uh, with the pliers if anybody decide to reprint this uh, fox skull and well then let's see the printing and this is start of the printing you can see here the first layers and this is the time lapse, but I will stop the time lapse on critical point. And here you can see, uh, I will zoom in, uh, those mat that material in, in eyes starting only from one small point. And uh, you will see later that uh, I was lucky that uh, it was finished because it was moved. And uh, here you can see the other critical part, but it was finished correctly. That uh, big overhang actually it was finished with the bridging hole of the nose. And from this angle you can see better those supports, they did a very good job. And uh, here you can see the close-up, the finishing of the teeth. I was afraid a little bit too big for too big overhang, but it was finished correctly. Here it, it will have a little bit more stringy because it was very short cooling time for the layers. And this is the final object. Okay, let's remove it. And as I expected, I used here a Polythera PLA because it is very easy to remove the supports. And all I have to do is to remove these supports or, or material inside the eyes. It is ready for painting. And of course uh, these layers doesn't look too good because uh, here it started with the printing. And here I remove the supports. And then I pass the object for the painting. But uh, I cannot go inside this room. So this is the footage I got from my daughter. So these are those acrylic uh, paints she used. And here I will just speed up this part of the video, uh, it is double speed. Uh, she's starting with the lighter colors and then uh, darker colors. She tried to give the natural look of the bone, but uh, I really cannot comment more because um, I'm not artist, so I don't know exactly what she is doing here. So I will just play some background music here.
After a few hours the painting is dried and the fox skull is passed back to me. I have no idea if this fox skull is biologically correct, but if I would see in television for example, I would believe that it may be real. The painting gives it a real uh, nice realistic looks. Uh, the first version is one year old and uh, this acrylic painting still looks like after first day, so I hope it is uh, durable. And the final words, well it looks like I will have a 3D designer in a family. Unfortunately I couldn't solve the problem with the file uh, here where the eyes and the nose hole is. I couldn't remove or add some kind of support, small supports on those surfaces. Uh, I will upload the file as it is on my website, the uh, original.obj and if somebody can help me to fix this or, or to add just a small support so it uh, can be then uh, removed very easily after the printing, uh, I will add uh, foxcool uh, fix.stl or obj file and use uh, that one. You can use the original, just don't forget that then you uh, to pay attention when those uh, surfaces in the hole of the eyes will be printed. Don't forget, in a career you have to scale up the file uh, to the desired size and uh, I don't know that would be it if you have any suggestion uh, write me in the comment thank you for watching and happy printing